You know that Procreate and Photoshop are the best digital painting softwares out there. In this video, we are going to compare both and I'm going to tell you what are the advantages and disadvantages of each one of them. What's up guys, Lucas here. I'm a professional concept artist and illustrator working for the video game industry. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Here we talk about all sorts of art related content. So if that's something that you like, subscribe. Let's start the comparison with one of the most important things. The price. A few years back, Photoshop used to be a one-time payment software, around $800. But since the CC versions, Adobe decided that it was time to change into a subscription mode. The price of that subscription is around $10 per month, but for a lot of people that make their living using the software, it didn't sound quite like a good idea. The reason being, of course, that if you subscribe to the software and you plan to use it for your entire life, you will end up paying Adobe way more than the $800, right? On the other side, you can get Procreate in the App Store for 10 bucks. So in the price category, it really, it's, not, it's a no-brainer. Procreate absolutely wins. Second point, usage in the industry. Photoshop has been the industry standard for years and years. So if you plan to do this thing professionally, you will find that in every scenario, Photoshop is the, the tool to go. Is the standard in the studio, is the standard in the company. Does that mean that professionals do not use Procreate? Not at all. Like a lot of my workers use Procreate in their personal use, but not any of them that I know use Procreate for their professional work. So in the industry standard, definitely Photoshop is the winner. Comparison point number three versatility. Photoshop has always been meant to be a photography software and of course you can see it in the name, right? Photoshop. Now of course a lot of time has passed and Photoshop has a lot of tools dedicated to artists but still you can see that you have all the bulk of tools for photography, photo manipulation and, and even animation, like a million things more, right? Instead you have Procreate on the other side that you can imagine it as a kind of a stripped out version of Photoshop that does have anything else than the painting tool. So if we are talking about versatility, in Photoshop you can do a thousand more things that you can do in Procreate. Point goes to Photoshop. Point number four, let's talk about the hardware. To be able to use Photoshop, you need a reliable machine. It's not like you need the latest uh, graphics card and like 32 gigabytes of RAM, but you need a decent computer. That unfortunately gets you only halfway there because after that, you need a graphic tablet. That is a Wacom or any of the other brands that are out there. That combo costs a lot more money than you would think of. On the other hand, if you want to start using Procreate, what you need is an iPad, but also you need the Apple Pencil. Those two things together will cost you less than what a good computer with a graphic tablet cost. So all of this means that if you already have a good computer, maybe you will be better if you invest only on a Wacom or another tablet. On the other hand, if you do not have a reliable computer yet, then maybe you are better getting yourself an iPad with an Apple Pencil that are cheaper together. So in hardware, the decision is yours, to be honest, because it really depends on what you are looking for, what, what works for you the best. Let's talk about point number five, that is innovation. Let's be honest here, Adobe is a gigantic company with probably tens of thousands of employees. That means that changes, innovations or improvements take a long time to happen. On the other side, Savage, the creators of Procreate are, are a company that really consists of only a handful of people that really pay attention to everything that the community says and the community asks. That means that updates happen super fast and in every single one you can see massive improvements. So in innovation, the point goes to Procreate. Let's talk about point number six, brushes. Photoshop has always had some problems to store your brushes. That's the reason why I use tool presets instead of brush presets. 
but that's me. Brushes in Procreate, on the other hand, are super nicely organized. I love how Procreate organizes their brushes. The problem is that it doesn't matter which one has the most beautiful display of the brushes. The truth of the matter is that Photoshop has been out for so many years that the amount of brush packages and brush possibilities that you have for Photoshop is just infinite. Instead in Procreate, even though if the selection is growing fast, you're, you're still very limited, so you are pretty much on your own to make your brushes or stick with the default ones. Another disadvantage of Procreate in the, in the brushes is that most probably <laughs> you are already a Photoshop user, right? Because Photoshop is the industry standard, so everyone uses Photoshop, and that means that you probably have your own brushes, your own brush selection that you use every single day. The problem is that you cannot import Photoshop brushes into Procreate, so that means that you are stuck without your trusty brush collection that you use in Photoshop. So in brushes, it is a close one, but the point goes to Photoshop. Point number seven, let's talk about the productivity. I have been a Photoshop user for more than a decade now. That means that by now, I am pretty much used to the tools in Photoshop. So for me personally, there is no question. I am way faster in Photoshop than I am in Procreate. One of the main reasons for that is that I can use the keyboard in Photoshop. And you can use a keyboard also in Procreate, but the problem is that you cannot bind the keys. You have to get used to another key bindings. Now, that is just my personal opinion because a lot of other artists that I know say that the gestures are way faster than trying to navigate menus. So I'll say that this one is also a draw. None of them gets the point because if you start using Photoshop, you will be faster in Photoshop. If you start using Procreate, you will be faster in Procreate. Point number eight, horsepower. You know that Photoshop is going to win this one. Look, it really doesn't matter what iPad you get. This one is the biggest one that they sell and still is way smaller than your average monitor. Another one is the platform. In Procreate, you're limited to the iPad, of course, so that means that you have to use iOS. Instead, if you use Photoshop, you can use a full-fledged Mac, a full-fledged Windows, and that gives a lot more possibilities, right? Using Procreate, you are limited to a battery-dependent device. That means that you are going to, to be stuck to a wall 16 hours a day drawing in this thing. So yes, in horsepower, of course, Photoshop wins. And point number nine, accessibility. Photoshop is overwhelming. I remember still the first time that I got inside of the of the software and that thing was scary as fuck. I don't know if you felt like that, but I remember seeing the menus, the tools, and it was just like so much, so much information and so many options that I really didn't know where to go or where to start. It just doesn't feel artist friendly, you know what I mean? <laughs> On the other hand, Procreate is made to be simple, it's amazing, the UI is super clean, super friendly, you have like zero options, all the options are hidden beneath other options so that you are not confused, it is very artist friendly. So in accessibility, of course the winner is Procreate. So that gives us three points for Procreate and four points for Photoshop. So for me, Photoshop is the winner, but for you it may be different. Some of the of the reasons that I mentioned above uh, could, be, could be heavier for you than they are for other people. For example, let's say that you're a traditional artist and art is really just your hobby and you want to try digital painting, then most probably I would go with Procreate it because it would be a cheaper option and also way more accessible than trying to learn the whole Photoshop program, right? If you cannot pay the $20 every single month, instead you can just pay $10 and Procreate is, for, is yours forever, of course you're going to prefer Procreate than Photoshop. So yes, it really, it really depends on who you are and what you're looking for, but I hope that this, this comparison helped you make the decision. Question guys, which one is your favorite, Procreate or Photoshop? I told you already that mine is Photoshop, but yeah, I would love to, to hear from you guys why, which one and why is your favorite. That's it for me guys, thank you very much for watching this video till the end, please leave me a like if it was useful and of course subscribe for more art related content and I'll see you guys on the next video, bye.